I'm about to join a customer table to an order table, and they've got one common key, customer number. Cust knows what we're calling it. We're joining where cust know equals cust know. But here's the issue. On the customer table, the primary index is cust know. On the order table, the primary index is order no. So we're joining on Custno and Custno. So what the parsing engine is going to have to do is instruct each amp to bring their order table into memory as well as their customer table. But then it will say, redistribute your order blocks, not by order number, but by Custno. Then the hashing takes place with that beautiful hashing formula and the rows are hashed to the proper amps and they will be on the amp where the customer number and the customer number matches. And that's the way this is going to work. Let's see that from a theory standpoint. Look at our customer table. In red, I have placed the customer number for you. Now, I want you to look at the order table. I've also placed in red the customer number there, but they are not on the same exact amps with their matching counterpart because this order table had a primary index of order number. I've got that in blue for you. So what they're going to have to do is redistribute this order table, not by the blue of order number. That was the original primary index. They'll redistribute it almost as if they're reloading it with a trick primary index of customer number, and then everything will match up perfectly. Let's take a look at the joining of these two tables from the parsing engine's perspective. We're joining the customer table to the order table on Custno and Custno. Amps, I need you to bring your customer table and your order table blocks into your FSG cache. I said, move it. And they all go ahead and do that. Then the parsing engine gets on there and says, okay, we're going to join on Custno and Custno. I want you to redistribute the order table, hash it, but do it on the key of Custno. They're hashed. Those rows move across the binet. Ooh, this is really some very difficult work that takes a little time. Teradata does it very quickly, but that's what takes the most energy in these systems are the joins and the data movement across that binet. Once they're there and they go across the binet, everything matches up and the parsing engine says, now do an all amps join step. And they just match and match and match on each amp and the join is complete. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within.